This video will describe how to use Onset's Pulse Scaling Data Assistant software tool with both the free version of HoboWare and HoboWare Pro. The Pulse Scaling Assistant along with the Linear Scaling Assistant are included, uh, they're software tools that are included with both the free version of HoboWare and HoboWare Pro. The Pulse Scaling Assistant is used with loggers that re can record pulses or what HoboWare calls counts from third-party sensors that generate those types of signals. Uh, we can go to File, Preferences, and then click on Data Assistance here on the left, and you can see this is the free version of HoboWare. We see the Linear Scaling Assistant and the Pulse Scaling Assistant are loaded. And you can click on the little uh, question mark here, and it gives you a little a description of what each Data Assistant is. And I'm going to show you, uh, you can basically use these, uh, you can scale these pulses or these linear inputs, uh, linear analog inputs, um, at the time of launch. Or you can post-process data uh, and, and apply them there. And I'm going to show you both, uh, both ways of doing that. Here is a list from the Pulse Scaling Assistant manual that lists the supported sensors for the Pulse Scaling Assistant. Uh, we list two um, types of pulse input adapter. Uh, these are smart sensors. The SUCA and UCB are discontinued and have been superseded by the UCC and UCD, but we list it and for the customers who are still using those old sensors. It's also supported by um, sensors that supply pulses to loggers like the UX90 or the UX120-017. The data assistants are made available uh, when you launch a logger, depending on what type of logger it is and what kind of measurements it supports. You can also use the data assistant to post-process your data, and we're going to show you both both ways. I have a UX90001 uh, logger hooked up, which will do state, pulse, event, or runtime. If I click on Launch, it will open my launch window. And we're going to select again. I have all this. All of this information is in the UX90 course as well. But when we have pulse selected and raw pulse as our um, measurement type, again we have we support a bunch of, of, of pre-configured pulse um, scaling parameters. But if we select raw pulse, then we can click on scaling and see we get access to the pulse scaling assistant here and we can create a new series based on that scaled value. And basically all we're saying is one pulse. And again, Hoboware calls pulse counts. Pulses counts. It's the same thing. But basically what you can say is your raw value is how many pulses equals how many of your scaled units or your engineering units. So um, for example, if you had a, uh, we, we sell a, a flow meter that outputs one pulse per gallon of water so you could say one pulse or one count equals one gallon and then you could call this water flow or just water or whatever you want to call it and click on save and done and now you can see we have a uh, under scaling we have a one and uh, we can click on water flow and now it'll show up in, as gallons but that again that's in the uh, the screen and then you'd launch it, and then your data will be available as one uh, scaled in engineering units uh, or gallons. The other way to use the, the pulse scaling assistant is uh, as a post-processing function if you didn't scale your pulses or your counts ahead of time. So I've generated a, a data file with some counts in it, some pulses here, and uh, I want to run the, the uh, pulse scaling assistant as a post-processing function. Um, so in order to access the data assistant. Again, HoboWare will look at the type of measurements that were made and will make a data assistant available based on what it sees as measurements. So with pulse, with counts, it makes the pulse scaling assistant available. If this is HoboWare Pro, it also makes the kilowatt hour assistant available. If it was temperature, it would be the growing degree days assistant. If it was temp and RH, it would be the, the growing degree days and the grains per pound assistant etc. So in order to uh, scale this using the Pulse Scaling Assistant, I click on Process. I get that same window open 
and I can give this a, a value. So again, uh, let's use our let's use our flow meter. And one count equals one gallon. And we're going to say water flow. And now we're basically creating a new series called water flow in gallons. We can include the raw counts or exclude them. I'm going to exclude them from the uh, plot and plot the data. And now we say we see how many gallons we saw uh, for each interval of data. And again, pulses are always recorded at some logging interval. And the scaling that was used uh, when this was, um, again, when the, the pulse scaling assistant was used, can be seen over here in what we call the details pane in the left margin. If you click on the little plus sign in front of series water flow, you will have, uh, you see devices, deployment info, series statistics, and then the pulse scaling parameters. So if you click on that and expand it, you can see that one, can one count was scaled to represent one gallon. To save this post-processed uh, scaled data, you would save it as a Hobo project file by clicking on File, Save Project, and then save it with uh, an HPROJ um, file extension. If you don't save it as a project, you would have to rescale it the next time you open that raw data file.